This Asian woman has a message to all racist Asians who complain that their spots at top colleges are being taken by incompetent blacks and Latinos. She explains that whites are using them Asians as a pawn to drive the wage between Asians and people of color. Let me roll the clip and I'll be back. Up. To the racist, anti-affirmative action Asians who complain that their spots at top colleges are being taken away by the incompetent and undeserving black and Latino students, please do better. Because if you want to talk about anti-Asian discrimination, then yeah, let's talk about things like the bamboo ceiling or how white legacy students are admitted at staggering rates despite most of them being unqualified. But to blame your rejection on black and latino students because you can't comprehend that they too can be smart and successful is not only rooted in racism but is also just plain inaccurate because historically the implementation of colorblind policies has only actually ever disadvantaged asian americans and has widely benefited white people and it's honestly sad that you asian americans can't see that you're just being used as a pawn by white conservatives to drive a wedge in between asians and other people of color now, scholars have suggested that the People's Republic of China largely portrays racism as a Western phenomenon, which has led to a lack of acknowledgement of racism in its own society. For example, the UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination reported in 2018 that Chinese law does not define racial discrimination and lacks an anti-racial discrimination law in line with the Paris Principles. Now, the Paris Principles are, are about promoting and protecting human rights. And of course, the discrimination against black students has occurred since the arrival of Africans to Chinese universities in 1960s. The non-incident in 1988 features Chinese students rioting against African students studying in Nanjing. In the early 2000s, police anti drug crackdowns in Beijing's district were reported to target people from Africa as suspected criminals, though police officials denied targeting any specific racial or ethnic group. And African students have been subjected to such things as drug testing the more than Asian students and etc. Of course, no one would agree that they are targeting a certain ethnic group as not to be seen as outrightly being racist. Because who? Just crazy people I have seen online recently. Anyway, it is possible. These people have to begin to realize they are even they are internalized racism. Because how do you not expect that just because a person is black, they cannot do better than you at school, in college, etc. And talk about the inclination of the Asians towards the whites and the enjoyment of the white supremacy system. Especially the ones that are light-skinned. Would you agree? Do you also think that Asians are being used as pawns by white solos to drive the wedge between black people and Asians? Or let's just say Asians and people of color. color. Yo, this is just crazy now. We don't, we can't, you can't make these things up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.